let me show you how you can try to fix overheating of your Samsung S25. So first of all, I will definitely start from adjusting performance settings so we can actually optimize um, to reduce heat generation. You can do this by going into settings, and then you will have to go into battery and device care. And when you are here, just go into performance profile and be sure to get light one because it actually prioritizes battery life and cooling efficiency over processing speed. So now we can also go into another settings. We can actually monitor app usage because some applications may cause excessive heat due to high resource consumption. And we can actually do this by going into battery And when you are here, take a look. Just open to view details and you can find out all of those apps. And if there's like any application that takes a lot of, of your battery, then you can simply try to force this application to stop or you can even go into background usage limits and you can simply put some apps to deep slipping. And you can just click plus and add apps and simply put them into this slip mode. Um, you can also try to update software. So uh, sometimes, you know, there are some issues with the device or, or maybe not with the device, just with the software. So uh, you can actually fix this by going into software update, and click on download and install and be sure that you have the latest version. And additionally, you can also manage background processes. So let's say that you actually uninstall or put apps to sleep, but still there's some kind of the issue with your apps. You can go into device care, then open memory. And right here, you have to just select to clean now and basically remove all of those background applications. And mm, we can also, you know, disable some kind of the unused features like we can turn off Bluetooth, GPS or NFC when not in use uh, as they actually can generate an additional hit. So you can just go right here, turn off your mobile data. If you are, for example, connected to the Wi-Fi, switch off your Bluetooth. If you are not listening with your wire wireless headset or, for example, speakers and do the same for the navigation. If you are actually sitting in your home and don't really need this one, um, if it is still there's some kind of the overheating issue, I can recommend you to contact the Samsung support because um, it will be pretty useful to actually reach out or uh, at least visit a service center for further assistance.